Hey, horror fans, once again, it is me, the Horror Miser Money G. It's time to do another horror movie review. This time, I'm going to review the horror movie Boys from County Hell. Yes. Now, Boys from County Hell is a 2020 Irish horror film. It was written and directed by Chris Broad. The film stars Jack Rowan, Nigel O'Neill, Louisa Harlan, and Michael Ho. Now, in this particular horror film, a crew of hardy road workers led by a bickering father and son must survive a night when they accidentally awaken an ancient Irish vampire. Yes, <laughs> we got ourselves a virus I'm vampire than this one, ladies and gentlemen. Now, outside of vampire legends coming from southeastern Europe, mainly from Transylvania, there are other legends regarding these supernatural creatures. From ancient Greece to ancient India to Albania, there are plenty of tales about undead creatures who attack and drink the blood of their victims. Yes, there are plenty of vampire legends throughout the world, not just in Transylvania. Some people even believe that the Irish novelist Bram Stoker based his novel Dracula on the Irish vampire Arbatok. Now, this particular Irish vampire is also the premise that Irish writer-director Chris Brown brings us with his vampire film, Boys from County Hell. Now, in this tale, slacker Eugene Moffa from the town of Six Mile, I think it's Six Mile Road or Six Mile Hill, I think that's what it is, uh, who's still grieving over the death of his mother, spends most of his time at the local pub called The Stroker. <laughs> now, Eugene is either spending his days getting drunk with his friends or taking tourists out to the supposed burial site of the Irish vampire Albatak. Now, while working with his, lands uh, working with his father, uh, I think his name is Francis, and uh, they have some type of a landscaping business. Uh, in clearing the area for a bypass, a uh, tragedy takes place, and in a fit of rage and anger, Eugene destroys the burial site. And this, of course, causes all sorts of killings, revealing secrets, and the fact that legends regarding the Irish vampire are true. Oh no, what do you do now, Eugene? No, no. Things I did like about this film is how authentic the film is. You got to give Chris and his uh, filmmakers credit because they do a great job in showing the authentic nature of Irish, not only Irish, the Irish land, uh, the Irish language. Uh, most of the actors, I believe, are either Irish or are from or from uh, Northern Ireland, right there, which is pretty good. Uh, you can tell by the way they talk; they use a lot of Irish slang, and sometimes it's kind of hard to probably try to understand what you're saying. But I did not have a difficult time following this, but I do like the authenticity that Chris has in this particular film. Now, Chris also does an excellent job of character development, especially the relationship between Eugene and his father Francis. Uh, you can tell both men are still grieving or are still affected by the death of Eugene's mother. Uh, Francis, in typical Irish, <laughs> in typical Irish fashion, tries to best to toughen his son up with the usual Irish borg. I think I pronounced that right. If I'm wrong, uh, please let me know. But deep down, the two they do love each other, and we see that during the third act of the film. Now, I like their relationship, and you know it's typical Irish banter that they have between each other. Uh, but you can tell that they still love each other, and I like that aspect that both these actors portray with Eugene and his father. No, I love Eugene's friends, too. We have Claire and SP. I mean, all the actors do a great job of showing them camaraderie. I mean, you can tell that they're pretty good friends, and they want to protect their loved ones, especially when they learn a secret that someone close in their circle is discovered. I like how Chris doesn't fall into the typical tropes that we see in other vampire films. He mainly focuses on the friendship between Eugene and his friends. Oh yes, there's a vampire involved and he's killing people, but it's mainly just the camaraderie and the friendship that we see in this particular film. That's what dominates the film. That's what carries the film. See, this is why I liked, as I mentioned before, this is not your typical vampire uh, flick. His script is more about the lives and the people who live in this rural town in Northern Ireland. Now, of course, we do get some nice vampire kills, and this is and this one we do get a lot of like gore effects, and the creature design for Arb Attack is something we really haven't seen in the vampire film. So I really got to give Chris credit for how he portrays vampires in this particular film. Oh yeah, like I said, there is some gore and there's some nice bloody effects. I love the creature design of Arb Attack, but like I said, this is not your typical vampire film. Now. There is now this film is supposed to be billed as a horror comedy, and there are some comedic moments in this particular film. But I actually felt the film more of a drama thriller 
uh, more than a horror comedy. So overall, we have a nice cast, a decent story, some great practical effects, and a different take on the vampire legend I believe most horror fans, and particularly vampire fans, will like. I did enjoy this film, and I think you'll like it too. I believe right now it's playing on Shudder, if I'm not mistaken, so definitely give it a check out, uh, Boys from County Hell. So I'm going to give Boys from County Hell three out of my five bloody gold coins. Giving it three out of my five bloody gold coins. Yeah, I really did enjoy this film. I want to want. I'm going to have to thank my good fr uh, friend uh, from Australia, Emma from Spooky Astronauts, because she recommended this film. Uh, one of the great, great horror films that she recommends. So definitely want to thank Emma for recommending this horror film. So there you have it. That is my review and video for Boys from County Hell. Like I said, it is playing on Shutter right now. Have you seen it? What do you thought about it? Leave your comments in the comment section below and tell me what you thought about the Boys from County Hell. Also, if you did like this video, please like and share because it does help out with the YouTube algorithm in here. Also, if you're new here, please hit that subscriber button and ring that notification bell. That way you'll be notified anytime when I put up new videos such as this one. Once again, my name is Lamont Smith, better known as the Horror Miser Money G. And always remember that horror rules. Ha <laughs> ha. I'll see you in my next video. I'm out.